Audio test. Testing, <laughs> testing, testing. Yeah, audio you test. You guys, we just did a whole clip, and Jason didn't have his microphone turned on. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Friday, sometimes guys. Sometimes she turns it on for me, and sometimes she don't. We just get, yeah. Yeah, we we got a green light now, so. <laughs> he didn't even realize it till he went to turn it off, and it was already off. It, it was wasn't like, on. <sighs> Oh my goodness, but... We, well, let's tell you everything again. Yes, we got our load picked up. If you've seen our last vlog, we told you we got that lucky weekend load. We did. We picked it up in Maryland, and we are heading to... Seattle. Washington State! Heck yeah. Yeah, we don't 20, get up that way. 27, 2,800 miles. Almost 2,800 miles, seven yep. pieces, 3,000 pounds. Yep. Easy nice seat. load. Yep, for an agent we've never worked for nope. before. They just called us out of the blue. Was it yesterday or the day before yeah, yeah and uh yeah so we jumped on it and we're like heck yeah we want to load over the weekend especially a long one yeah and going west there was a load out in seattle that was uh, picking up next week that we tried to get but some i think somebody beat us to it yeah so. that would have been perfect because we're gonna deliver this monday morning and if we don't have anything we're gonna start heading south yeah yeah we're probably gonna head south if we don't have anything yeah. just don't waste time because we got up to monday tuesday wednesday to be able to get a load for next week yeah before thanksgiving before thanksgiving which, happy thanksgiving yeah to happy thanksgiving <laughs> you're seeing this the day before thanksgiving uh, probably yeah probably oh thursday thursday is thanksgiving oh yeah we might put it out thanksgiving day yeah so yeah, happy thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving y'all hope everybody's uh with their families and um doing what you want to do and yeah. having some good food yeah. and oh gosh yeah i don't yeah. know what we'll be doing yet hopefully we'll be running you just never know maybe we'll get a load over taking us over maybe while you're watching this we're running this long one all the way to florida from <laughs> <laughs> put it out there in the universe right yeah. that's what they yeah. say and yeah. it'll happen but yeah i mean there's been years that we've ran <laughs> over the holidays and we've got loads over the holidays and there's been years we've stayed out over the holidays and didn't we have anything sat a whole week waiting yeah. for our next load we we've, we've done that before i think we sat in tifton georgia one year over thanksgiving over. that was when we still drove for dave our old fleet owner we yeah. used to drive for because yeah. he actually um bought us thanksgiving dinner at cracker barrel that yeah year. he sure did he sure <laughs> did yeah but we yeah we we delivered and panther didn't get us nothing that week and so we sat no. all the way until the following week mm -hmm. in tifton georgia at the flying j mm -hmm. that, <laughs> that was not a cool week yeah that was kind of boring we got a lot of sleep <laughs> yeah we did yeah but yeah i mean at least having getting this light over the weekend it made this week a really good week so no matter what happens next week we're we're okay with it but yeah yeah at least yeah. The, I, we looked at the weather across our route which will be going pretty much across the 90 which is a beautiful drive but uh, it looks like yeah. the weather's going to be good yeah 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 weather cold down into the 20s some places at night but so we'll have to treat our fuel yeah we'll definitely treat the fuel put a little bit of house put the house in. <laughs> yeah diesel additive fuel treatment to, anybody that knows that it. rage against the machine song <laughs> when it does because i'm housing yeah we always say that when we, we kind of put the house in <laughs> but it's an anti-gel so that the diesel doesn't um gel up gel. when it gets cold right right i haven't noticed if uh truck stops are treating it yet I don't know. i've been looking for the signs on the pumps i mean i'm sure they do especially in the northern states so yeah. we don't have to really but I'll, I'll watch for it and make sure I, i'll even call the truck stop ahead of time say is your fuel treated mm -hmm. i don't want to end up on the side of the road with gelled up fuel no <laughs> no that's not fun we've I've, had to do that before i've done that before uh, you you don't need to call as long as you carry that 911 with you most of the time you can get yourself going um it's a pain in the butt you got to prime the <laughs> the fuel and get pull the fuel filter caps put 911 in mm. all of those in the tanks and uh, it, it could be a pain in the butt especially yeah. if it's cold out we've been there been yeah. there been there done that yeah 
It's we, been a while. But yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. After we learned our lesson the hard way. Yeah. Yeah. We, <laughs> we make sure to <clears throat> keep that on hand in the cold months. Yeah. But we are actually almost into Pennsylvania. I think we're almost, well, we're right on the border, actually, Maryland and Pennsylvania. Yep. And, um, we're going to be letting these babies out and be, get down the road and knock these miles out. I need to put some cash on our NC Quick Pass. Oh, yeah, our toll tag. Yeah, because we're going across uh, 76, 76, which can get pretty expensive. It can. That's, that's probably the most expensive highway on tolls so. in, in so. the United States. Yeah. Like, to go all the way across, it's like $90, and that's for a two-axle straight truck. We're in a three axle. We've never done it in these this yet, so that could get expensive. And I know tractor trailers, whoa. Oh my gosh, yeah. You're talking 200, 250 bucks probably just yeah. to go across. It can just, get pricey. Just I mean, the good crazy. thing you can write those off, oh, but come here, come it's still pricey. Come say hi to everybody. <laughs> but we plan on getting into uh, Washington Sunday afternoon. Oh. And then, like I said, offload right. this Monday morning first thing and. Maybe we'll get lucky, get a load out of there, and won't have to deadhead right far down into California. We'll see. You know, Just never know. You know what's funny is in the in the last clip where we forgot to turn the mic on, we were saying let's let the telling the dogs you need to go potty, and they were freaking out, oh, ready to go, need and then, go we potty. Had to, then we had potty? to stop and record again. Tyson, you need to go potty. Yeah. Oh, 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 Oh my goodness. Wow. So we're going to let the dogs out real quick. Yeah. We will catch up, let you know where we're at by tomorrow. Yeah, let's during, head to during Washington. During our driver swap and let's head to Washington. Saturday from Wisconsin. Freezing cold, Wisconsin. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. 22, 21. Uh, one of the things that's kind of cool about this job is that you know you go to bed and you never know where you're going to wake up the next morning. How far did your teammate when, get you? Yeah, when you're on the run. And when I always get up, I'm like, where are we? And what's the temperature outside? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was cold. It's What'd cold. What'd you say? It got down to like 21 uh, last night? 21, I think is the lowest they got wow. yeah no snow or nothing though that's no, awesome no just cold no wetness on the ground so no freezing and yeah yeah we're at the uh ta in hudson wisconsin so almost to Min minnesota yeah um, right what, at the border yeah like four miles to the border yeah yeah uh, oh. so make a good time i think total we're like 1700 miles away yeah, away so bad. we got all day today till tomorrow which will be sunday we'll knock out about 1400 miles so we should be there around noon, noon. probably about two o'clock yeah two o'clock local yeah, time about two o'clock local time or central time it's nine o'clock yeah. probably about noon local time local time yeah yeah, yeah. Cool, man. Yeah, we. Uh, I just. I took a tri-tip out last night because Jason wants to barbecue it tomorrow. I'm gonna barbecue a tri-tip. I'm gonna try something different this time. I haven't done this before. It's called dry brining. For those who don't know what that is, basically you sprinkle it with salt. You stick it on a plate and you stick it in the fridge uncovered and you let it sit for like 24 hours, and then you take it out, rinse the salt off, and then season it and cook it. Cool. It's supposed to tenderize it, give it a little bit interior flavor in the meat, and mm. never tried it before, so I'll try it out. New, a new, a new adventure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a new adventure. Hopefully, on the I don't kill us uh, with no. food poisoning. I, why would it? It's I mean it's no. still gonna be in the fridge. Not like Not you people leave it do this all yet. the time. I just seen somebody do it online and i was like hey i'm gonna try that yeah because the tri-tip's kind of a tough meat so it I'm, is if you, yeah i guess i'm be. hoping for it to kind of tenderize it a little bit more make mm -hmm. it a little bit softer but we'll see yeah it's definitely not like the buttery wagyu no but uh, yeah <laughs> yeah which we still have a few steaks left we do don't we we do we'll have to cook one up next week mm -hmm. or something 
That'll be our Thanksgiving dinner, Wagyu. Oh, yeah, we'll have Wagyu for Thanksgiving. That's a good idea. <laughs> I like that. I, like I, that. I was thinking yesterday, I was like, gosh, what are we going to have for Thanksgiving? <laughs> Wagyu it is. That's a good idea. <laughs> I know you've been talking about you wanted to try a chicken on the Traeger. I do. Where you, like, cut the backbone out and lay it in it, lay it whatever flat, that's called. There, is there a name to it? Or, yeah, there's some name to it. I'm sure somebody, one of y'all know. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, basically splitting the chicken, a whole chicken wide open and then setting it on the grill and smoking it and does it get the um skin crispy because i like crispy skin on my chicken it did on the youtube videos of the yeah. professional grillers that did it we'll i'm sure to... i'll mess it up but you got to brine it first too you got to brine that uh, also yeah. i've seen it done with turkeys i would imagine chicken would be pretty similar mm -hmm. but you want to soak it in like a, br a wet brine or a, I don't even know is that what it's called but soak it in <laughs> some solution uh, yeah some solution <laughs> as a mixture you soak it in something for overnight and then all that soaks into the the meat and mm -hmm. then you mm -hmm. and then you cook it like that yeah I wonder if it'd be like because I love like rotisserie chicken when it's and it's got that crispy skin on the outside I don't think it would I don't know maybe yeah. that's about what it looked like yeah. but it's not going to be yeah, we'll have to try it. Yeah. I mean, I love chicken either we way. We got all so. kinds of stuff I want to try on that Traeger. I know. It's just having the time and, and freezer space to do it. Like, sometimes <clears throat> we'll want to buy a whole chicken, but I'm like, oh, we don't have enough space in the freezer because it's full. <laughs> <laughs> or you have to put full it in the wagyu. fridge and cook it, you know, within the, a couple of days yeah, so it doesn't go yeah, bad. But yeah. I'm uh, taking over so this one She's can taking get over some early. Rest. Yeah, it's only... Yeah, we swapped early last night. Yeah, it was like 10 o'clock. Yeah. I still got an hour left, but... If I drove it, I'll be like in the middle of Minneapolis. Or yeah, there's, we might as well. We had to stop well here for, for fuel. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm surprised they had their water on here. I, we topped the water off too. Yeah, it's a well, fuel <laughs> island. I'm like, man, because last night we stopped at one of the service plazas in Ohio to use their RV dumps and the water was off, which wasn't surprising. But it, it, it's colder here than it was in Ohio, and the water was on here. So yeah, I was shocked. I'm shocked too. So we topped shocked. our water off. It was leaking. That, the water that, the, faucet yeah, at the yeah, yeah yeah it was leaking so yeah. I wouldn't doubt that thing freezes and busts the water line. <laughs> oh my gosh! I, I, so I went into the the shop to go to the shop to see if they had a part, and they're not even open. Like it said on the door that due to coronavirus and shortness of staff, they are only open between the hours of. 10 to midnight now oh so they do open they just have certain hours yeah yeah because yeah. when you came back and said they were closed i'm like they closed well, the shop. shops used to be 24 <laughs> hours all the time yeah I, well this this uh, this year with this stuff going on it's got everything yeah wacky. but we're essential all right i think that's all i got right now i'm I tired just, yeah he is tired I'm he's delirious right i'm delirious all right well you go delirious get like eddie murphy Get All right. some rest and I'll knock out some more miles and we'll check up with you guys later. <laughs>Sunday fun day from Washington. We made it. Yeah, we made it. It is early Sunday, local time, uh, I think. Local time is 1.30. Yep. We made it to the TA around noon. Yeah, fueled up. We were going to stay there, the TA in North Bend, Washington. Yep. 
And then we were looking and we found this KOA, which is literally three miles from our delivery tomorrow. Yeah, most of the spots there at that K, uh, TA are paid parking. Yeah. There are very few free parkings. And the free parking ones are, they're all crooked. The truck was all leaning to one side. I was like, yeah, no, I'm not doing this. And we're still 40 miles away and have to fight traffic. So I got online and I found us a KOA yes. three miles away from our delivery. Yeah, so. that's awesome. Good job, driver. Good job, driver. <laughs> so we just finished getting hooked up here, all yep. set up. And yep. Jason's going to barbecue a tri-tip for dinner. Yep, I got good. it set up in the side box there. And we got electricity. And I may plug up the block heater, too, because it's pretty cold it's cold up here oh yeah, my gosh it's pretty cold. it is and yesterday oh my gosh i took over yesterday and i was going through north dakota and got pulled over for an inspection yes level one level one has inspection. got a new sticker of course, actually it's of our first sticker pass. for this truck yeah we've gotten an inspection in it but we never it was got only it. a level three though yeah so they, they didn't, didn't give us a they sticker. don't give stickers for level three <laughs> so yeah and it was a pretty white one so it matches the truck yeah it's funny the officer when he was uh, finishing up the paperwork and he came around he's like well i got a sticker for you i'm sure you're happy about that <laughs> and then he went and put it on and he said i even made it it even matches your truck it's he, white and black <laughs> he drilled us too like he had us send our logs and had me you were sleeping well, yeah, sleeper i was in the sleeper it woke me up and <laughs> then I was standing there we're listening and watching and yeah. making sure she had everything she needed but it, it was, was nice though he was it was a nice officer yeah, yeah. but it, it's oh I love disc brakes he crawled under the truck to go check the brakes he, he's and, like I was out there because I had to pop the hood for him and stuff and he looked and he's like oh y'all got disc brakes I'm like yes sir he's like all the way around yes sir <laughs> yes sir don't have to crawl under there too much no, he it, had his roller creeper out too oh, and yeah, everything he, he looked at everything it, and it's funny too because I was going and I was on the I-94 and uh, I, he was like on the shoulder so of course I got over to go around and as soon as I was going by my scene he was starting to pull up and I'm like watch he's going to pull me over because there was a rest uh, area a mile from there. Yeah. Sure enough right before the rest area he switched on his lights and pulled me in But there and there was another DOT officer there too so they were pulling in people to the rest area to do inspections. Yeah. But, yeah. 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 <laughs> but man yeah I'm excited we're going to have a tri-tip, relax the rest of the night, get up early and get this one delivered. Yep. Then we haven't had no calls, so I think as soon as we deliver, we are heading south. Yeah, start heading south. Uh, we may give it to like 10. We'll probably get like south of Tacoma, mm -hmm. maybe pull over at a rest area and kind of have breakfast, kind of slowly go mm -hmm. make sure we're not going to get any early morning calls and yeah. if we don't we'll keep going yeah so yeah so we're going to end this one here stay tuned to the next vlog to see what happens fingers crossed for us we do get a load yep for at least one load and tomorrow or actually the day you're seeing this probably is thanksgiving it is happy thanksgiving happy, happy thanksgiving turkey day. again yeah. hope y'all are celebrating with however you want to celebrate don't know what we'll be doing we'll see yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. And tell our next video. Peace, love, and expediting.